Hey, what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. Dropping some content for that ass. Little discussion question for the subscribers to this channel. If you dig the question, if you dig the comment, consider giving this video a thumbs up. So here's what I want you to engage with for today. I've seen a lot of Twitter chatter on this, so it's only right that I ask you guys and see what you think about it. There are a lot of, a good portion of the Impact audience that seems to believe they messed up the Jonah debut. Not so much the debut, but the follow-up. He showed up at Turning Point. First of all, Turning Point, phenomenal show. I feel like everything that I've had issues with with Impact Wrestling over the last year and a half, they seem to address a lot of it. So that's really, really positive to me. I, I started getting excited about the product again <laughs> because I was it's been our, it, it was it was very rough for me in the pandemic era up till Slammiversary I'll talk a little bit more about that later but I'm starting to get really excited again turning point uh, was kind of a turning point for the company I think and I hope because they just stepped it up in so many ways so Jonah shows up he attacks Josh Alexander perfectly done I mean perfectly I think the best part of it for me was when he started to walk in a way and then turn around and came at him again and hit him with a splash off the top rope. And then Josh was spitting out the blood. As I've previously said, they're starting to do a good job creating an emotional connect connection with Josh Alexander and the audience because that wasn't there before. That wasn't there prior to Bound for Glory. When they talked about him being the world champion, I was like, but he's he just a wrestler who puts on great matches. And that was my concern. And if you've heard me on the Cool Factor talk about this a few times, any time that Josh Alexander has been the thumbnail on content for this channel or the main topic, the views are always considerably down. So what that told me is that there wasn't an emotional connection between Josh Alexander and the audience. What happened with Moose attacking him at Bound for Glory and... Jonah squ uh, you know, squashing him literally with the blood coming out of the mouth, that's what builds that connection. So they're, they do, they're doing an excellent job with that. You would think the powers that be would want to follow it up the next week. Maybe Turning Point had to air the air, I mean, it had to be recorded the week it was. Maybe they couldn't wait two weeks. I mean, I guess not if they wanted to do it in November. Maybe they couldn't do it a week earlier, we should say. Instead of that follow-up, because the Jonah appearance was very highly favored by the Impact audience and the wrestling audience. There's a lot of curiosity about this. A lot of curiosity being piqued. They don't follow it up. Instead, we get Wrestle House. I'm a Wrestle House guy. I'm a, I'm a Wrestle House fan. I find Wrestle House funny. Wrestle House funny... Throwback Throwdown, not funny. Let's throw that out there real quick. I find Wrestle House really funny. I was, I was into it. I was into it the first time. Bad, stupid humor, but I dig it. The problem is, I think 48,000 people watch this thing, and we're talking about overnight viewers because I watch it on YouTube. Uh, you know, you can always add 10,000 to that. So, but at the, for the most part, nobody watched Impact Wrestling that week. If you're, you know, you cut the audience in half at least. At, at an absolute minimum, you cut it in half. And now they're teasing Jonah's going to show up at this next episode. That's awesome because we want to see what he does. We want to see what he says. I'm sure Josh Alexander is going to confront him and all that good stuff. But we want to see what it is. But did they mess this up? I mean, did they cool him off? You look at, a, you know, like the Bullet Club. It's probably going to be a topic that I hit on quite a bit, late, bit lately. The Bullet Club is ice cold right now. They cooled them off just for the sake of whatever agreement they got with the Good Brothers. We're like, you're going to hold our tag team championships forever. So with Jonah, I'm worried that they cooled this off too quickly. I don't know that the viewership will be the same as it would have been last week. With people wanting to see what he had to say. It's something I'm interested in. I'm sure you're interested in it. So give me your opinions 
on the timing of the Jonah debut. Did they follow it up too late, too slow? And did they need to air Wrestle House as an episode or could it have been shown on YouTube? We're going to have that conversation. We can have that conversation now, real quick. Do they need to do Wrestle House for Thanksgiving? I, I feel like it's 50 50 with the people. Obviously, 50 50 because viewership was cut in half. Some people feel that, well, it's Thanksgiving. People are with families. People don't watch TV. Like, people watch football. I, I'm finished with dinner at, by 6 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to watch Wrestle House live, I could have watched it easily. You know what I mean? The way I see it, if you commit to putting on good wrestling, a good program, a good TV show, people are going to watch. That's my personal opinion. So I'm your boy BQ. Thanks for checking us out. I'm out. Peace.